What's happening guys, it's Brad, and welcome to another episode on the Trade to Glory. Now if you did see the last episode, we were building towards the Ruslan objective. We also completed that draft where we did get to the draft final, so it's definitely worth going out and checking that video. Link is down in the description to the playlist of my Trade to Glory and the Graft to a Draft series. And also I've recorded a foot eliminator on the party bag this week, so go and check that out as well. Link is down in the description. So as you see on the screen today, what we're going to be doing, I've now got my actual Trade to Glory team to play the last game in the objectives for the Rusalon, and then we're going to go and put him into the side, and we will go and use him in a Rivals game. So you'll see there that we've just literally got to score in six squad battles wins on minimum professional difficulty using Bundesliga players. Obviously, my team is predominantly a Bundesliga team, so we'll go and get into a game finish off this objective and then we'll go and put Ruslan into the side and see what he is like in our new team. And there we go, it's a little bit lucky, it's completely rebounded off the keeper, back into Werner's path who slotted it away, so we've scored with the Bundesliga player, all we've got to do is see out this win. I'll probably just show you highlights of any goals that I score that are decent goals. And then we will go and see Rusalon objective card when we do complete this game. And there we go. Lovely through ball through to Perisic there who has driven that into the bottom left hand corner. 2-0 up, coasting away, as we would be on a squad battles, to be fair. But then we will be going into a rivals game with our new team. And another goal there, that one is Kamada, 3-0. Probably won't show many more highlights now, we're just going to get this game done. And show you when Rusalon appears after we completed the objective. And there we go, we completed the objective. Obviously I am not putting all the highlights in there as that is 14 nil on squad battles. But we are gonna go and get the Rusalon card that we have now achieved in the objectives. So there it is, we completed that final objective for the one rare player pack there and ultimately completed it to finish off Rusalon. Rusalon plus 300 XP, that all important XP. He looks like a solid card, 97 pace, 90 dribble and 90 defense, 89 physical and 87 passing. He'll be a very good replacement at left back for Schultz, so let's go and get Schultz out of the side. Put Rusalon in and then we're going to go and try Rusalon out in a rivals game. So there he is, he's in the side now, we've applied an anchor chemistry style to him. That is our completed team as it stands at the moment. I am probably looking for a direct replacement for Werner at some point, he's just not quite cutting it as a main striker in the team anymore. Uh, but anyone that I want to use is sort of over a million coins and I'm not prepared to spend them just at the moment. So let's go and get into a Rivals game and see how we get on with our new Rusalon Summer Heat card. Okay, so here we go into a game of Rivals, we are against Three nice looking red pick forwards there. That's Promise, Havertz and Nabry's team of the season. He's got Summer Heat, Fabinho, Wijnaldum. He's got Eggstein, Pope. Nice, uh, nice looking team. Let's see how we get on. Well, we've had pretty much most of this game and then we go and concede with a deflected goal from the goalkeeper's rebound. Uh, so it's FIFA all over. As we go into the half, 1-0 down, we're actually looking like we were controlling this quite well. So 
So you will see that last chance there that Werner again squandered, uh, tried to just shoot it straight into the near post. But he's just not cutting it anymore. He cannot pass the ball. And yeah, generally just his shots now are lacking at where we are at this stage in the game. So Timo Werner is definitely going to be something I need to look at. You never know when we do our next prime icon pack, we may get a striker icon that is usable. But we go and lose 1-0. However, Russo in that game was incredible. Uh, he was mopping up really well on the left-hand side. And the guy actually switched Promers over to the right-hand side. Um, and he seemed to deal with him really well. So really happy with how he's performing. We've put all the others up on the transfer list now. Uh, so Schulz and some of the players that we had from our previous Foot Eliminator episode are on there selling as well. What I'm going to do just to finish off this video is going to open the rest of the packs that I have in the store. So I think there's a few one rare players, a couple of two rare players and a couple of 83 pluses. So let's go along and open them now. 12 packs to finish this off. So we've got a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack to start. Nothing in that one. Got an Ander Herrera, I think it's worth a little bit of coins at the moment. Yeah, around about four and a half to five thousand coins, but we'll keep them in the club. Quick sell the rest of those on the end. Open up our next Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. We've got something in this one. It's an inform walkout. Is that indeedy? Yep. Team of the week moments, 87 indeedy. That's a pretty decent pull out from a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Not sure how much he's going for at the moment. Looks to be around about 22 to 23,000 coins, so that's not too bad. Again, though, just for now, we'll store him in the club. Quick sell the rest of the items at the end. Got a Premium Gold Players Pack next. Nothing in that one. Eighty-two Rudiger again. Also might be worth a little bit of coins at the moment. Yeah, around about six thousand. Just quick sell those at the end there. Store them in the club. Now I think we've got some of our two rare gold players packs before we've got the eighty-three rated rare player and the two eighty-three pluses at the end. Hopefully in that one we can pick up a decent special card. We'll go with the two eight, uh, the two rare players first. Nothing in the first one. An 82 Maguire and Brené, so another 82 rated fodder. Nothing in the second one either. But another 82 rated Lecomte, so that's not too bad. Two rare gold players, pack number three. Nothing in that one either, so we'll go ahead and skip again. Some duplicates in there, but they are tradable, so we'll pop them up to the transfer list. Our fourth two rare gold players pack. Looks like there's something in this one, is there? Nope. Looked like a glow on Van Dyke's face there, but not quite. And the final two rare gold players packs before we got the two one rare players packs and then the 83 pluses. We have surely got one in this one. No, again, it looked like a glow on Van Dyke's face. Been tricked twice for the last two packs. As we get Savenier again, uh, this one at least is tradable so he can go up onto the transfer list. Now let's go for the one rare players packs. If you go back to the last pack and guest video, these actually did turn up pretty well for us. Um, although that first one's not got anything in it. That is an 81 Milivojevic. The last one rare player pack before we open up our 83 pluses. We've got something in this one rare player pack. It is just a board. A German board, centre mid. Is that Kadira? It is Kadira. 83 rated, so not bad for fodder. We'll stick him in the club. Now we've got an 83 plus rated rare player, then the two 83 pluses. So we're looking for something special. 
We have. We've got a Team of the Year nominee, I think that is. Italian centre mid, is that Verratti? Not too bad. So it's an 87 rated out of an 83 plus pack. Good for fodder. We will take that. And finally, to end it off, the two 83 plus players. So we've got, a one in, we've got 187 in the 183 plus. So we should hopefully get something decent in this one. And unfortunately not. It's just going to be boards. Oh, and our first player in that is Miranda. So that means the next one behind it is not going to be any good either. Unfortunately, it's just 83 Rui Patricio and 83 Miranda. We did get Verratti in the other 83 plus. So that's not too bad at all. But there you go. We got the Russell on. And actually, he is a really solid left back. A lot better than the shorts we had in the team. So we're really happy with that. Links to all my previous videos are in the description as well as the series playlist for Trade to Glory and Graft to a Draft. Please do drop a like and a comment on this video and please do subscribe. Turn that notification bell on as well so you can look for any future uploads by myself. I've been b -Rad. Thank you for tuning in.